Back again, brothers and sisters, second time in, in this day. I think I'll call this video, uh, what did I call the first one? Well, let's see. Why I like, like, why I like some unbelievers. Well, why you like, why do you like some unbelievers, part two. But before I get into it, I'd like to do a disclaimer on my, on this guitar playing Uh, I'm under no uh, delusion that I know how to play a guitar. <laughs> real big, real guitar players out there that they can tell right off the bat. But uh, what happened with me was I used to write them all, write it all out in poems and stuff like that. But I got real sick one time and back in uh, this right before I found out about Flat Earth. And uh, at the end of that, See, this was in my mid sixties, and then I found out about the uh, all the lies going on around us about our uh, flat Earth and the globe lie. But anyway, I believe uh, that it was the Holy Spirit that was told me to play the uh, pick up the guitar. <laughs> I had plucked around, you know, I knew a couple of chords my whole life, but I but I never tried to play it that much, you know, most of my life, but. After I got sick and I recovered, almost died, I, I picked it up, I, and something was going on about the mosquito got in there. Uh, I picked it up again. I didn't know how to play. I still don't know how to play. <laughs> My kids will tell you that right now. They actually know how to play, but I fake it on the, on the guitar or what I do, but uh, I feel like the Lord told me to put what the words that he get, would give me in these little songs to uh, music. And so what I did was uh, I looked around on the internet and found a couple of uh, uh, couple of places there where uh, you could down tune it and tune it to a certain chord and it would make it easier to play. You know, all you'd have to do is mash up and down a little bit. So uh, I began to do that, you know, and put my little tunes uh, to uh, to music. No, but I'm not in any delusion that I can actually play the guitar. But uh, just want to put a disclaimer out there. You know, uh, uh, I fake it. I'm really just a faking it. <laughs> and uh, but you know, I think it's better than just doing a bunch of poems all the time. And so I just put my uh, little words that God gives me to music. And uh, just want to put that out there and tell people about it. Uh, uh, it was after uh, this was in my mid 60s that in itself is a miracle in itself I couldn't even hold a guitar for a long time I couldn't even hold one but while I was sitting around recovering from this uh, pancreatitis that I almost died I, I picked it up and started plucking around on it again and I don't really have a decent guitar to play the strings are old and uh, I'm making excuses here <laughs> really what I'm doing is making excuses but it's a miracle that anybody out there even listens and, and enjoys one of my songs so put in there to keep me put in there that uh in the comments to encourage me but anyway what I wanted to do this uh this uh next verse on here that I want to bring to light is first Timothy 4 and 10. 1 Timothy 4 and 10. Talking about on the subject of the uh, the subject we had in mind here was... Let me stop and get it. Okay, here it is, brothers and sisters. The uh, uh, bombshell. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but this is going to be a, a big one here. And... Uh, most people never had seen this, or if they saw it, they just read right over it and didn't pay it any mind. But thanks God, I'm a slow reader. And I picked up on this, and I'd like for you to ponder this and think about it yourself, brothers and sisters. Think about this yourself. Don't think about what Granddaddy told you. Think about it for yourself. I believe it'll bring a lot of peace and joy as you move down through this present evil world the people all around you, you won't be looking at them like uh, they're bound for a devil's hell because they hadn't uh, believed exactly like you believe. You see what I'm saying, brother and sister? 
For therefore we labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially, or let's don't, let's don't say especially, let's say especially of those that believe. Let me run that by you again, brothers and sisters. Well, for therefore we labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men. Savior of all men. Put that on in your thinking cap. Especially of those that believe. Or especially. I shouldn't just say especially. I'll just say specially. To me, brother, sister, that's telling me that, 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 that there are some special people out there no, no, here's what it's, in my in my view, this is my view down here. If you had a football stadium, <laughs> I use this as an analogy, and there were some special people down here in one end zone who believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. But all the rest of the people in that Jew, Gentile, every kind of nationality in the world were in that football stadium, and they were saved also, but yet they did not believe. <laughs> Look at it, brother and sister. <laughs> Tell me what it's saying out there, especially to those that believe. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? Uh, the word of God, people just, uh, people just, uh, the word of God keeps on giving. <laughs> it gives and keeps on giving. <laughs> it has for me in my older years, my, my senior years or my twilight years of my life. It just keeps on giving. Savior of all men, especially to those that believe. So, brother, I, and such is in my view, for whatever reason, there's a football stadium full of people, in my view, but there's some special people down here in the end zone down here that believe in his son Jesus. Is what I think that's what this is ta- saying. If it ain't, y'all prove to me where it's wrong and put it in the footnotes and tell me what you think. <laughs> so I knew some fellas that did. <laughs> but um, Anyway, God is the Savior of all men. It tells me that anybody that's saved, anybody that God chooses before the foundation of the world will be saved. But there are some special people down here uh, on this side over here that believe in his son, Jesus, that the Bible calls them blessed people. Blessed. <laughs> These people are blessed. You ever notice that? Blessed is a man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. These people are blessed people. They uh, uh, come ye blessed of the Father. These people are blessed people. I'm getting on to the blessed thing. Uh, 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 the 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 uh, Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the merciful. Everybody just reads past that. They don't understand it. What God is saying. These are blessed people out here are merciful people. If you see ble- merciful people, they're blessed people. That's what the Sermon on the Mount was all. It always leads off with blessed. Say. <laughs> so that's what he's talking about on the Sermon on the Mount. These meek and lowly in heart people are blessed people. These peacemakers out here are blessed people, brothers and sisters. So uh, that's what it's all about. Come ye blessed of the Father. Those that aren't blessed of the Father didn't enter in at the end of the world, say brothers and sisters. But that's what I was going to come out here, and I'm going to probably make another video to get to that last verse. But uh, uh, what was the other text? Oh, about the written word of God. Well, in uh, in Romans two and something, I don't have it right here with me, but it says that uh, they they didn't have the letter, didn't have the word, didn't have the law, but they show uh, attributes. Their conscience would tell them yay and nay, and so they show the uh, the the law of God written in their hearts. Say, so brother and sister, people that didn't even have the Bible, they didn't even come into, uh, to fifteen eleven. Nobody had a copy of it, and they act like and. Uh, you got all these different languages, you know. Well, what about their copy? Did they get a copy? No. Uh-uh. He wrote it in their hearts. He, he, They show attributes of God written in their heart. You go all over the world right now. You'll find people in all different nationalities that have the law written in their heart. <laughs> Meek and holy people. That's my view here in my twilight years. I don't go around looking down my nose at people like I used to. But anyway. If I got one more verse here, yeah, I might have time for this one more verse. Uh, let's see. Oh, one more verse. I got just a minute to do it, brothers and sisters. This is called uh, 
if we believe not verse. If we believe not verse. Uh, look, these if, if we believe not verses will bring you peace, brothers and sisters, because all of us don't. Uh, uh, our faith can be up one day and down the next. We believe a little bit, you know, uh, help my unbelief. All right, look. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Yeah, that's true. We won't, A lot of the times we're just suffering with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. I've done that before, before brothers. I've denied Jesus in a, in a crowd of people, that, in a group of people, the intellectuals. I knew they didn't want to hear it. I denied him, and he denied me my peace the whole rest of that night. You know what I mean? <laughs> and to, but uh, uh, let me go to this next verse, brothers and sisters. If we believe not, if we believe a little, if we believe uh, uh, just, uh, where is it on the gauge of belief? If we believe not, not to me means not at all. Yet God abideth faithful. In other words, did you abide faithful? No, God abides faithful. If we believe not, if situations in life bring us to a point where we don't even care, don't even believe, throw the Bible over in the corner, forget about it. If we believe not, yet God abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. Brothers and sisters, if you are born from above, God is not going to deny you. I always tell this story along with it. I got in trouble down at school for doing a very uh, uh, ugly thing. You know, why, my father had to come down and see the principal. Got off work and came and saw the principal. <laughs> and you know what? He wasn't pleased in, the, in a little bit with my conduct. And he had to go down and make things right with the uh, principal. And I was uh, punished for my action. But he could not deny that I was his son. He couldn't deny it. And brother, that is the crux of the matter. God cannot deny himself, his own. That's like denying himself, say. Because we are born from above. I hope... These three particular verses, uh, I'm going to close it out now. It looks like I had time to close it out. will show you that it's entirely by grace, brothers and sisters. And that's what I've come to the conclusion here at the, at the twilight of my life. And I put it out on the internet because I cannot believe it's a miracle that I even get, uh, I used to write it down and send it off to people in the mail that I, that I wanted to know about it. But here in uh all of a sudden, a miraculous thing happened. My kids put me, up, gave me a channel, and I'm getting it out there. At least it's up there for the day anyway. If we believe not, if we believe a little bit, if we, where is your belief on the belief meter that gets you into God's heaven? Is it, is it enough, you know? <laughs> no, no, brother, sister. If we believe not, yet God abideth faithful. If there's any believing to do, God's going to supply that believing in, in, in every child of grace's heart. But I think I got it on this video. I think I'm going to call it uh, Why Do I Like uh, Unbelievers or something to that part, part two. Why Why do I like unbelievers? Because they're all around us, brothers and sisters. You, you just got to have eyes to see, you know, and ears to hear. But anyway, please put in the comments if it's getting out, especially if it's getting out overseas, because I hadn't heard anybody over there. I hope that they hadn't put me over, that the powers that be hadn't put me over in, in a corner. And it isolated me off where it's not getting anywhere. But uh, anyway, whatever. If it's just a handful of people, that's fine with me. If it's just one or two, it's fine with me. If it's just my kids listening, it's fine with me. Just my grandkids left, that's fine with me. But uh, God's going to do with it what he wants to do. Anyway, what I always say is this, brother and sister, peace and love for Miss Old Boy down in Alabama.